Disclaimer, if you're looking for a video by CinemaSins called Everything Wrong with the Lego Batman Movie, then I'm afraid to inform you that as of this video's release, no such video exists. If since the release of this video, CinemaSins has released such a video, I will link it on screen now. I'm doing this video for my love of the Lego Batman Movie, and I'm not going to let the lack of a CinemaSins video on it stop me from doing content on it. Thank you! Click below to watch the original Sins video, or to buy the Lego Batman Movie. So, as you may have noticed, today I'm doing something a little bit different. I recently watched the Lego Batman movie and really enjoyed it. I couldn't wait to make content on it, but then I realised something. There is no CinemaSins video of the Lego Batman movie. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at a CinemaSins knockoff channel, and I'm going to sin that instead. So, let's get to sinning our first CinemaSins knockoff. This is a video from a channel called Movie Mistakes, called 10 Lego Batman MOVIE MISTAKES YOU MISSED. Vertical line the Lego Batman movie. Let's get into it. Today, we're going to show you a few mistakes in Lego Batman. It was also featured in more than 4,000 theaters. Man, that is a lot of popcorn! I don't know about you, but I feel patronized as fuck right now. Mistake number one, during the Lego Batman song, which come on, was pretty awesome. I mean, Batman is caught by Poison Ivy, he's about to be given a deadly kiss, yet when the camera switches from the penguins back to the Future Crusader, you can see that he's further away from Earth than he was originally. How'd that happen? Because he's Batman. I'm sorry, I literally have no idea what you're talking about. This guy takes an incredibly long amount of time over every individual sin. So much so that I felt the need to speed up that clip. He's not making in-depth points either, he just pointed out one continuity error. But 90% of the things he said were just padding the runtime of that one sin. I mean mistake. I mean sin. Check out the chair in the background. So when the camera switches from Alfred to Batman, you're going to notice that the chair is now gone. Maybe the chair has a secret identity as well. Ooh, or maybe it's a ghost chair. Whoa! Maybe the chair is the true villain of this film. Ah! I guess you could say the point I'm making is that that joke, if you could call it a joke, was actively retracting from my enjoyment of that video. Also, I know what you guys might be thinking. Jay, you're being a little harsh on this guy. This content is clearly intended for children, right? It's not that this is patronizing you. It's not meant for you. You're too old to be its target demographic. And that's what I thought too, until I looked at some of the other videos on the channel. Bear in mind, most of these are done in exactly the same style as this one was. Have a look at these and tell me if you still think this is meant for kids. 10 biggest Deadpool movie mistakes you missed. Rick and Morty the Whirly Durly conspiracy mistake. 10 satisfying Game of Thrones deaths. 10 best horror movies of 2016. Alien Covenant movie mistakes you missed. Yeah, they just don't strike me as child-friendly topics. Oh, and by the way, while I was looking through the video, I also found this one, which is called 10 Crazy Superhero Movie That Actually Happened. So, uh, here's another sin for not proofreading your video titles. Good. He makes a one out of place frame. He makes his way past reporters to the top of the stairs where no one is near him. And yet as the camera zooms in, you can see that the woman in the green dress suddenly appears in front of him, walks past, and then disappears again. I swear to God, if you make a ghost noise... <laughs> okay, I knew you were going to do it, but that was even worse than I expected. Now by this time in the movie, the Joker has crashed the party and Batman needs to save the day. Again. Well, wait a minute. Really? A again? Is it just me or does it seem like every time there's a public gathering, like in all the Batman movies, something bad happens? Well, yeah, that's why they include the public gathering in the movie. No one's gonna go and buy tickets to Batman goes to a party and everything is fine. There's no conflict. Right? I'm, I'm thinking Gotham probably just needs to make it illegal to have parties at this point. Yeah, sure, why not? That sounds like a reasonable solution. I mean, didn't the Joker blow up a hospital? Ah yes, one of those famous hospital parties. All of those sick people getting together for a rave. I must say, the solution to this one-time hospital bombing is definitely illegalized parties. You know, in, in Batman vs Superman, didn't Lex Luthor blow up a courthouse full of people? Ah uh, yes, one of those famous courthouse parties where everyone goes to court just for fun. Oh, also you should really have put a spoiler warning on all this. But then again, so should I, so fuck it. And in The Dark Knight Rises, Bane blew up the mayor, destroyed a stadium full of people. This music feels really inappropriate over these depictions of acts of major terrorism. I mean, just look. I hate everything you just said. You guys haven't been seeing this because I've been cutting it out, but the Movie Mistakes logo appears in between every single sin, I mean mistake, that this guy points out. You know, just in case we forget what video we're watching and the stupidly long drawn out time it takes you to point out one single mistake. 
Well, from this vantage point, she appears to be alone. However, when the camera switches from Batman back to Barbara, we can see that there are two LEGO officers standing nearby. Where they came from, I have no idea. Maybe they secretly work for the hand. They're actually ninjas, and that's why they're so stealthy. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm mixing up my Batman movies. Please don't tell me that was meant to be a joke. In mistake number eight, we're gonna stay in this same scene. Yeah, we can tell by the fact that we're still looking at the same fucking scene. So, I hope you've enjoyed that. This is going to be happening every Friday now for a few weeks. Maybe longer. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'm not going to be putting end segments on these because, I mean, that would mean making three end segments a week, which would be ridiculous. So instead, here's an end screen. By the way, if you enjoy the end segments where I look at weird comments on videos, then you should try the new video on my new channel, which is linked in the top right hand corner. Because basically, I've started a series on my new channel where I look at weird comments on YouTube videos, and it's kind of fun. Bye!